Hi there, welcome to the Workface. What is a PlayStation Mini? Well, it's basically um, an emulation console of a PS1. So this is what you might consider to be a PS1 controller. And just look at the size of this. This is the PS Mini. So it's actually, in terms of its size, it's not really any bigger than the controller. So what on earth has this thing got going for it? Well, first of all, it is powered by, in fact, there's a little slot there I didn't even know was there, to be honest. So let me just have a look and see what's in that one. Can't open it, doesn't matter. We've got a micro USB on there to power the unit. We've got an HDMI on there um, to plug it into any monitor or television. It's as straightforward as that. All of this stuff on top is for show, other than the power buttons, you've got a power. You've got an open button, which does nothing. I think the reset buttons, you've got power and reset buttons basically on there. And then of course you've got USB ports. So you can plug two controllers into this if you want, but also more than that, you can put a USB stick in there and that allows you to load all manner of games. So let's have a quick look now, see what it looks like running on the telly or certainly on a screen. So there it is folks, as you can see it's no bigger than my hand. This I had to repair the glue on there. It was like that when I got it around the cable. But basically, that little gubbins on the back was nothing. It's just a fake opening port to make it look like an authentic PS1. HDMI in there, micro USB into there. So you could hide this around the back of a television quite easy if you wanted. You've got a reset and a power button and an open button there. So um, let's switch the monitor on and I'll show you what it's all about. There you go, folks. So straight out of the tin, this is what you get. And you get a good selection of games. I'll just quickly scroll through them. So there's probably something for everybody there. And then you've got save functionality and load functionality. But as you can see, there's probably what, as I go around, without counting them, what, 15 games, something like that? And a good selection. However, you might want to do more than that. So by using a micro, um, a little micro micro or a USB um, stick, memory stick, you can load something else on, which doesn't mean chipping your console. So your console is absolutely perfect, but you can load more data on. I'll show you exactly right now. So this is what it's like if you have a preloaded stick in the second port on your PlayStation Classic, they're called, not the PlayStation Mini. Okay, so you have to pull the power, completely depower the PlayStation Classic, and then just put that, uh, make sure you've got the memory stick in the um, second port and the power is now plugged in. And you come to this thing called Auto Bleam. So I can press the start button on my controller, and this will then start this um, user interface here, which basically has got all the games that I chose to load on. And in most instances, you can get the little, um, icons there for each of the each of the games you've got now i have got a i think i've got half a gig memory stick in the console at the moment so a lot of games in here the bigger the stick the bigger the console this is running off usb you can see that over here look um, it takes a little bit longer to load up so just bear that in mind and here look it doesn't even say what that is it's called gold storm i don't even know what gold storm is so anyway, let me show you how one of these games runs. So let's just go straight into something. Um, and you've got game saves. You've got, you lose no functionality using auto bleam. You gain as many games as you can go and download. Um, and also, if you don't, if you boot it up without that memory sticking, it just runs as it always would. So nothing at all, nothing to lose really, I would say with this. So let's go straight in to... Um, Let's go PGA Tour 96, which is an old favourite of mine. And here we are here. As you can see, um, very old-fashioned game. Um, oh, God. Not a very good opening strike there. And this game would take a long time to load off the, off the disc back in the day. 
Um, and it loads quicker. It does, I, I'm pretty sure it loads quicker off this version of the game. So, you know, um, I don't, great shot there. I'm just gonna finish the hole, folks. Hopefully I can get a decent shot this time. The controller on the Auto Bleem and on this PlayStation Classic are exactly as they were on the original PlayStation. It won't accept original PlayStation controllers because it's going to little USB ports, so just something to bear in mind. Um, it was finally hits a strike, okay, there. It's a snap right. Hello, hello. Of course, play this on a big telly, it'll be great. If you like a bit of old fashioned golf. So there you go. I can then press my start and select, I think. I think it's that, but no, it's actually on the console. I press the reset button. Or the power button, there you go, power button. I can now cancel that, and I can just go straight into the next game. So it is as easy as that. That is, that's the PlayStation Classic, folks, which you can pick these get these um, consoles up for maybe 20 or 30 quid. You can load pretty much as many games as you want on them, but of course you're limited by the size of the memory stick you put in. But you, if you've got a PC or something, you can then rotate them around and drag them off and put new ones on if that's what you want. And I'm sure you'll probably end up with maybe 10 or 15 or 20 games or even more that are your go-to games. So you can certainly get those on there. Do I recommend? Yeah, it gets a five-star rating because it's quick and it's portable. And the, the nostalgia of PlayStation is right with me. And I'll see you next time on the PlayStation Station flip side. I couldn't have said it better myself.